Cameron is a door-to-door -door vacuum salesman. His weekly salary, S of E, is given by the linear function S of V equals 400 plus 120 V, where V is the number of vacuums sold. So the first thing we should recognize here is that the linear function S of V is in slope-intercept form, though the terms are in a different order. Where if a linear function is in slope-intercept form, it's in the form f of x equals mx plus b. So notice how in this form we have the variable term first and the constant second. In our case, we have the constant term first and the variable term second. And because we have a function of v, we can write this as s of v equals b plus m times v. If we wanted to, we could change the order of these two terms and write this as 120v plus 400. This is the form we're probably more used to using, and therefore now it's in the form of mv plus b. Either way, we should be able to recognize the slope m and the vertical intercept b. So our first question asks us to identify the slope and complete the following sentence to explain the meaning of the slope. So whichever form we use, notice how the slope m is equal to 120. So the slope m is equal to 120. To understand what this means, though, it's helpful to have the slope in fraction form. So let's write the slope as 120 over 1, because the slope is the constant rate of change, or the change in y with respect to the change of x, or in our case, the change in our function value, s of v, with respect to the change in the input variable, v. So the slope is telling us that the salary will increase $120 each time one vacuum is sold. Or we can say Cameron earns $120 per vacuum sold. Let's look at this graphically. Here's a graph of our linear function S of V, and because the horizontal axis is scaled by tens, instead of using a slope of 120 over one, let's multiply this by 10 over 10. And notice how the slope can be written as 1,200 over 10, which means his salary will increase by $1,200 each time he sells 10 vacuums. So looking at these two points on the coordinate plane, notice how to go from the point on the left to the point on the right, we have to go up 1,200 and right 10 units, representing the slope, which means his weekly salary increases by $1,200 each time he sells 10 vacuums. Next we're asked to determine the vertical intercept and then determine the meaning of it. Well, the vertical intercept is b, which would be the point 0 comma b. Notice how the vertical intercept is 400, which is an ordered pair would be the point 0 comma 400. So this also tells us the function value when the input is 0, meaning s of 0 equals 400. So if Cameron sells 0 vacuums, he still makes a weekly salary of $400. So the meaning, if he sells zero vacuums, he will still earn a base salary of $400. Looking at this graphically, here's the vertical intercept, which we know has coordinates 0, 400. If he sells zero vacuums, he still makes $400. Next, we're asked to evaluate S of 37 and then complete the sentence. So to evaluate S of 37, we substitute 37 for V. So we'd have 400 plus 120 times 37. So we have 400 plus 4,440, which is equal to 4,840. So as an ordered pair, this would be the point 37 comma 4,840, which means if Cameron sells 37 vacuums, he will be paid $4,840 for his weekly salary. Looking at this graphically, we just found this point here, which has coordinates 37, 4,840. If he sells 37 vacuums, he'll make $4,840 for the week. And the last question, we want to find the value of V, where S of V equals 8,560. So notice here we're given the function value of the output, we're determining the value of the input V. So here we'll substitute 8,560 for S of V and solve for V. 
So we'd have 8,560 equals 400 plus 120V. So we'll solve this equation for V. We'll first subtract 400 on both sides. So we have 8,160 equals, this is zero, so equals 120V. So last step, divide both sides by 120. Notice on the right, we just have one V or V. So 8,160 divided by 120 is equal to 68. Because an ordered pair, remember the input is the first coordinate, so we'd have 68 comma 8,560, the given function value. So the meaning is, for Cameron to earn $8,560 for the week, he needs to sell 68 vacuums. So again, looking at this graphically, here's the point that we found with coordinates 68 comma 8,560. And in this case, we were given the function value here and we found the input 68. I hope you found this helpful.